you know i'm not doing commercial or anything it's just for sharing purpose of stuff that i find i'm interested in and if someone sort of follows me and is like oh okay that's interesting so they would know my experience with those products so actually i'm trying to think about this series as my little water chat <laughs> hi all hello hi everyone my name is mod Toussaint como welcome to the mod thing this is a channel where we have conversations and talk about lifestyle things that i do <laughs> whether it be my fragrance collection and some of my art collections and everything else in between like travel vlog and anything else that i think is fun i share today i have a video for you and it's on things that i am loving <laughs> if you followed my video i've been sort of talking about my birthday and so forth so i'm in my 50s and i have found that i'm really interested in videos that everyone who is in their 40s 50s has to say about beauty products and products that they've used that they are either impressed with or that they have an opinion with about i have my pack here of things that i've been loving things that are some of them unusual i purchased them very skeptical <laughs> or having no idea and it turns out that i am finding myself using them religiously some of them are failed i'll point that out and when when i talk about beauty i'm thinking not just things that you put on like makeup and things like that but i also like to think about things that you put inside Things that you put inside, I think, really also can contribute to beauty. In fact, they are probably foundation to how you can actually look outside. I have some stuff here. I think the first one <laughs> that I'm really loving, and it has to do with my weight loss journey. I think that I will have, I've been cataloging that journey so far, I had like a good 50 pounds to lose. So far, I've lost 22. So I've been cataloging that. So I'll have a whole video on that when I reach my goal, whether it's been six months or a year, I don't know. <laughs> but one of the things that I've found works for me right now that I find really helped me feel light, detoxed. It's this product right here neon flax and it has all this usual suspect that i've had separately but that's combining here like it has flax seed it has maca and it has psyllium hawk it has noni it has grapefruit it has apples it has pineapples it has papaya and it has a little bit of cinna leaf which means because of the Sina leaf, it could feel like a little bit of a laxative, but you never really go into some form of diarrhea. So some of the stuff I'm talking about today <laughs> are not necessarily pretty. We're talking about stuff inside. But I seriously have found, so it's saying here, for the reducing of grease, whether it does that or not, I don't know, but I have found that i'm really loving it it's one of the few fiber heavy products that i'm using more or less religiously or whenever or whenever i feel like it might be good for me <laughs> so this is the second i have one and so i've already bought one to replace it yeah so that's leon flax Flaxseed fat reducer with omega-369, 100% authentic Canadian flaxseed. Boom. I really love it. I just find it works in terms of making me feel <laughs> light, making me feel almost a little bit detoxified. And I've also found like 
if I feel a little bit clean, uh, my skin also automatically feel better. So this is why I think beauty product also begin with stuff that you put inside. So I would say my number one sort of heavy fiber product right now would be this right here. Second set of things that I have found that I started becoming maybe a couple of years ago, like maybe two or three years ago, I was looking at a picture of mine and I'm like, oh my gosh, my neck was sort of a little bit funny. And I find that, all right, it's sort of very important to start thinking about treatment of your neck because not only as we age, we gain weight and, we, and, and as we try to lose it, things fluctuate and somehow the neck start having some form of issues. I think, you know, there are genetic stuff, whatever, but if we can, if we care for that, when we want to address sort of our neck, I think it's something that's important that we should think of and not just our face, you know? So the face products somehow don't necessarily work as well as some really targeted neck products. So I obviously tried a number of stuff. <laughs> I've, and so I'm going to, you know, to just begin with one that I thought was a joke. Um, there is this little thing right here. You know, like they have those, all those masks and I'll talk about facial mask, but I found this one <laughs> for the neck. I thought, oh, what a nice idea. I'm always using facial masks. You know, it's all the wedge now. So I'm like, oh, having the neck max is really cool. I have to say, when I tried it, I was like, oh my gosh, is this a joke? They tried to make it like a little jewelry of sort. So you just apply it like that for what it's worth. For some reason, I didn't think. I, I guess for entertainment, if you're watching TV, you could sort of put it. But that's clearly not something that I think is sustainable, but I think maybe for entertainment, one can use it. Products that I've really found actually in terms of a regimen for treatment of neck actually works of all the stuff i've used i have found this one pericon md coplasma sub d neck firming and toning neck cream and in french raffermissant et tonifiant pour le cou i have found that this one almost saved my neck because the time when I realized I wanted to address it, between that time and when I used it for a number of weeks, it really made a big difference I found. And part of what I thought worked for me was it has AHA, which is an alpha hydroxid acid, which they clarify my neck because what was happening is that i you know it looks like i had crease and there were darker line so with the aha i would assume that sort of clarify things things looked a little bit more uniform and therefore a little bit more firming at the same time but you know and more interesting yeah so I thought like, since after I used that product, I have liked a little bit better what's happening with my neck. Generally, I use Clarins products for my neck, which is more natural. And they tell you this one, once you're satisfied, you don't really have to use it every day. So that's not a product I just use for months and months and months every day. 
but when I first had that issue, like I said, I did use it and it did make a difference. And now every so often, I sort of go a week or two and use it on a continuous basis. And then after that, I just use other simpler, more natural Clarence products for my neck. That's the second product that I found, I find has have really worked for me. <laughs> there is this right here that's a little bit of an investment and it's not just for neck but it's for the face and it's called new face so it comes with an electric cord that you plug to charge it right so you charge it on the base. So this is the base. I think they have the different different sizes. I think I took the second largest. And then they also have targeted products that are smaller for like the smaller part of your face. But this product came with a book. So this is the base, right? And then this is the product, the new face product. They said to use this for 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. Maybe it works or not, but actually I have more chance with that. The first today, the first time I used it, this thing would not even stay like pretty like in the like in the box that shows you like a nice little jewel. It didn't it didn't even stay like that, but today it actually did well. <laughs> Fun, if one sees one at TJ Maxx, you could always try it. That's something you put for 10, 20 minutes. It's supposed to be a brightening mask. But, but in terms of real products, you know, this is something more serious, I think. This one is an investment. It's over... It's almost $300, if not more. I don't recall how much I bought it, but it was around $300. And I had found it at Nordstrom Rack, that where the price was a little bit less. And it also come with a book that tell you how to apply it. Neck and face treatment product. It's a facial toning device. Multi solution skincare device to help rejuvenate and improve your appearance, providing face and neck stimulation. Use it with a product that it comes with, that's why they call it Trinity. You use a gel primer. I know things look complicated, <laughs> but once you start getting used to it, it's not. So, you use the gel primer, you apply it on your face, and then this one, and then you turn this on. And it has different volume, right? As you press plus, you're getting bigger shot. From here to here, you're getting bigger shot. And then it's making a noise. So you apply the primer. And then, and then you just basically follow the pictures in the book. Eventually, you start remembering what to do. So you turn it on and then you, you maybe start with this lower volume at first and then and then you just go like that i can feel some form of little bit of electric current of sort and then when it makes the second noise you go back you go to another one you wait for the noise And then you apply it here. I definitely am feeling the current. So sometimes, depending on my face, especially on top, I find I have to go on the lower volume. And then you can you do some treatment here. I'm definitely feeling strong stimulation.
yeah hard to see too much of a difference for me just be, but i'm using that as some form of prevention but i've actually gone and used it on my mom <laughs> you know and i thought like i could see some instant toning for what it's worth you're really supposed to see sort of strong improvement if it if it works for you and they have some pictures of before and after treatment for people on the internet and to the extent that's true and if you're lucky it's supposed to really give you some improvement in in terms of double chin and sagging of uh, skin on the neck and like wrinkles here and wrinkles here I've been using it and I kind of like the stimulating effect and I feel like it's nice. I don't feel like I wasted the money. I feel like either in terms of prevention or, you know, something like that. That was the first time I used anything like that. I found that it was actually neat. So that's my fourth or third product here. <laughs> Uh, that still has to do with neck and facial tone and in a way i found that this is also for the skin and the neck because if it helps you lose weight your neck is also automatically going to feel more torn and then the fiber and everything in it is going to help things be clearer so ultimately when you do something like that it's also i consider it for the face as well and the stomach other products that also for face that I've been loving. Uh, first of all, I have to say I use a lot of Clarins product. One was an advent sort of calendar I got during the holiday. And it has certain products in it that I really love. So I literally bought this because of some of the products that's in it. Uh, but be it as it may, I've been using Total Eye Lift for years now. And seriously, I have found if, for example, I become a little bit lazy, if I become a little bit lazy and sort of somehow don't use it, I can start seeing a little bit of difference. So that is how I know it's working. And now they've also bought a serum that you're supposed to use in the morning and then just use this one at night. I haven't been disciplined enough to follow that regimen, but I just know just by itself also just worked really well. The products that I liked in this one, there's a lot of cool products in this, but the one product that they had in this one, which was the number one in the calendar, was this product, Bone Beauty Eclair tightening and radiance boosting but what i've found is that of all my primers before you use foundation using this before you use you know primer and foundation in your face i have seen a difference i'm not a makeup professional when i apply my makeup but this is the smaller size I had it, so this is a backup. I have really found that, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely love the way I look. What else? Of course, I think these little things right here, those rollers, are just really good. Like, even today, I was feeling some tension, and I found, like, like I literally went to the emergency room today because I was having real neck problem. So they've given me a shot. So I'm able to function <laughs> tonight. But because of medication, I couldn't really work. So I decided to do a couple of YouTube videos. <laughs> but anyway, even when you're watching TV, I keep this right there by the TV. I have found that, or I keep it by my bed side. I have fun even if you have some neck problem. I like it. 
this one can be a little bit goofy i think the bigger one it's like i don't know i usually just find myself using the smooth one and, then, and i can see in the morning my face look a little bit tighter or something so that's good other stuff that i'm using that i'm liking still for the face like seriously guys this right here is a box of those masks somehow i became a little bit addicted to buying those masks real water brightening black hydro step mask and then it's like you have all those korean masks that you know i don't know if it's because it's all like written in you know a language i cannot read so i can you know so i'm like I don't know if that's what making me think. Oh, it's good. But anyway, I have a little bit of addiction. I haven't seen one a little one of, one of those masks that I've not somehow purchased. You know, so I have more here. Seriously, I I purchased a lot of those. But ultimately, I stopped purchasing them. I've actually decided it's okay to use the mask on your feet. <laughs> So the ones that I'm not using on my face, I've just been using them on my feet. But I had to stop at this one. I was at TJ Maxx and then a lady told me, I obviously was looking at the mask. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So like, like I usually do, I'm at TJ Maxx, I'm looking at like facial mask. <laughs> and a lady told me, this one is very good. So, so now that's really the only one I've used, and it sure is, right? Like, I, don't, I do not travel without it because I find, okay, after you've taken the plane, your face gets a little bit dry, and if you want to make it feel plump and everything when you arrive, let's say to your vacation or something, the first thing I do is just basically put the mask on for like 20 minutes and then just pat it on. So I've found my mask. What can I say? This one is by Glam Fox. It has retinol and collagen serum mask. Speaking of collagen, I do take a lot of collagen also. And I find that I like that. I like to put collagen in my smoothies. But this one basically has retinol and collagen. Whenever I see this one, I just pick it like. Seriously, if you go to the TJ Maxx by my house, you're not going to find this. <laughs> because Maud would have picked it up. <laughs> Pick all everything they have <laughs> already. I also really love the little eye patch. And I have found this little one I love. Some of them, like, sometimes won't even stay on my face or anything. This little one is called the Overnight Bright. So just because it's called Overnight, that doesn't mean you leave it overnight. You know, but I guess it's giving you the idea that it's as if you got a good night's sleep or something. But it's by pa Pathology Flash Patch Restoring Night Eye Gel. I guess if you didn't sleep well or something, it makes you look like you've slept has been seriously the one eye patch that I really like. Again, seriously, sometimes even the plain, <laughs> I just put it on uh, for just 10 minutes. Another beauty product that I've also been really, really loving because I have real dry feet is the exfoliating foot mask. <laughs> the first time I use it, and I have several of it, but that's the one I love the most. It's by Harmonious Wellbeing Nature Love. That one. The first time I used, I used it, the box had five in it. <laughs> and I thought I needed to use it all five on a, you know, continuously. So for a whole week, I used it. And seriously, my feet was like dragging on the floor. Like in terms of how skin was coming off, it was just like, scary movie materials <laughs> you could basically carry a bucket to just take my skin off the floor 
after doing that that was dangerous it even kind of you know did too much and injured my skin a little bit so you don't want to do that you want to use it every two months or something zelo sacks with the exfoliating mask are just really 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 neat to use to really get your feet smooth uh, and nice but be one a lot of skin will come off lots and lots of skin will come off the skin is coming off i like to use a lot of shea butter a lot of moisturizer to try to restore my feet and then i have also found like there is nothing wrong with using those facial stuff and put them like over your feet also if you have dry feet one that you should be forewarned about seriously like i love african black soap seriously i found i have a lot of expensive cleanser by clarence and everything but at the end of the day things like african black soap and african shea butter literally can give you eternal youth <laughs> or face if you just use them you know if you've been using them since you were young whatever i suspect you know you would never have problems if you use them religiously but anyway we like to try those expensive stuff that promise all type of stuff but at the end of the day the basic african black soap and shea butter or like stuff that really works and they're very cheap but i was very surprised that this one literally it has cocoa pad ash so i don't know if that means like coconut skin you know that you know can can be very rough but so i have it here that i've used but the first time I use this thing, and even now, it is so scratchy. I'm not kidding. There was, I truly, truly injured myself. There were so many scratches. Like, I knew things were a little bit burning me, and I kept using it, thinking it was exfoliating me. And then, after a couple of hours, I was in pain. And then when I looked, I had scratch my skin deeply and it's taking me months now to try to you know just because black skin you end up having your melanin sort of creating dark marks so it's taking me months now to remove marks from the scratch that i got from this one somehow i don't know what happened to it but black soap is great but this was like a little bit of a weapon. Everything was super sharp in it and scratchy. Even now, like, I can tell you how hard those things are. I have this to, you know, to try to wash my hand. But even to wash my hand, I have to be careful. You know, it's like a little weapon of sort. Like, so sharp, so hurting. Like, I've never seen anything like that. It's like, wow, what's going on? <laughs> Let's see. Last but not least. <laughs> I don't know if you consider these beauty products, but more like products that I like. It's run by women for women. I found all the honey pot products. <laughs> or products that I'm kind of loving. And like, it has cool stuff like mint, like a basic herbal a, a basic panty liner become something very interesting you know it's because it has herbal infused stuff in it like it has mint lavender aloe and it's chlorine free pesticide free fragrance free so i have all type of little honey pot products that i just find that's something i discovered not too long ago and now, whenever I see honeypot products, feminine care, 
I kind of feel like I'm doing something better than I used to do. <laughs> anyway, so these are basically stuff that I am loving right now. Some of them are a little bit more unusual than other, like my new face, which I was skeptical about, but somehow I'm using it and I think it's great. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the stuff that I've shared with you that I think when you start going to 40, 50s, you really want products that's going to work when it comes to like facial maintenance and um, body maintenance. And so those are stuff so far that I am loving. There's more. Maybe I'll have other series of other little unusual stuff that I'm loving. <laughs> Until next time, if you like my content, please like and subscribe.